Our guide is the Quran, our religion is Islam. Five noble pillars upholding what is virtuous. To make the testimony is the base of the faith and the fast and the prayer, the pilgrimage in charity. Allah, 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 Allah. Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. Brothers and Elders, hope you're all well and fine. Today is the 1st of December and it's freezing. As you were experienced last night, it was very, very cold. It looks like we've got a very nice, long, cold winter ahead of us. May Allah Ta'ala make it easy for all of us, inshaAllah Ta'ala. Uh, talking of winter, talking of weather, well, uh, Alhamdulillah, I was just out of the country um, last week, 10 days ago. Went to Bosnia, then Montenegro, and then Albania. Quite a a jeep and a, a, a good experience. Um, Bosnia, we've never been before. This is the first time we actually went to Bosnia, and we, it was actually an invite uh, to Bosnia because what happens? Um, every country has their own mufti. Bosnia has the Grand Mufti, Kosovo has the Grand Mufti, Albania has the Grand Mufti, and after a certain period of time, they have the change um, of the mufti. So they had a they had a new uh, mufti appointed um, in Bosnia, and um, we were actually given a call, uh, uh, an in special invitation to come to Bosnia, Sarajevo, and take part in the ceremony and watch the ceremony and meet the meet the mufti, and maybe um, how to work in the future together. So, Alhamdulillah, my friend, myself, um, my friend Ayub Karmaid and Iqbal Master, we we left from Leicester, and uh, we went to um, Sarajevo. I uh, had a completely different picture of Sarajevo. I thought it was a huge, gigantic city with a massive airport, but um, nice. I won't say huge. I won't say small. In between city, Alhamdulillah, um, a nice small airport. When we got there, the weather was around eight to nine degrees, and, and a couple of days it was ten to eleven degrees. A bit like the UK, to be honest. Um, a deep history about um, Sarajevo. Um, obviously, as you all know, the World War One. Um, it all started from there. It, well, I can't say it started from there. Well, it's it was triggered off from there, um, and it's, there's actually a spot where the, the archbishop was actually assassinated, and that led obviously to World War One. Another thing about um, Sarajevo, which is very interesting, is that um, the first trams which ever started in the whole of Europe was started in Sarajevo, and the reason that was because Sarajevo used to be ruled by the Austrian and the Hungarian um, ruling. They used to rule together. So they, they put, as an experiment, they tried the trams in Sarajevo. If they worked or not, they worked well, and then they started using um, the trams over Europe. That's why you, some of the buildings um, in in Sarajevo is from the Hungarian Empire, the, the Austrian Empire. Quite a modern city, quite a nice city, quite a smart city, so alhamdulillah. Um, but unfortunately, the, the, the downside of it was the 1994, the, the, the war with uh, Serbia, where thousands, and I mean thousands, a war which was... 44 months before anybody intervened. Amazing, isn't it? 44 months before anybody intervened. We went to the Kabristan, we, met, we saw the Shohada, the Prime Minister of um, Bosnia at the time as well, Ibrahim. Um, uh, went to the Kabristan, did a bit of Isa al Sawab as well for the Marhumin. May Allah give the Shohada, General Firdos. May Allah give the ex Prime Minister, President, and General Firdos as well. Um, a lot of history in, in that city as well. We saw um, during the war, the fort and the tunnel um, in Sarajevo as well. We went to the Bosnian Springs as well. Um, the amazing thing was the, the, the ceremony for the for the Grand Mufti. It was quite amazing because it was a four to five hundred year old masjid, mashallah. And um, the, the, it's, you know, in UK, the same as you say, you've got to travel to appreciate what we have in the UK. Um, actually, you go in the UK, we've got warm, we've got central heating, we've got in air condition, we've got lovely soft, warm carpets. Um, we went to the masjid. Believe me, it's a beautiful masjid, well looked after, well looked after, alhamdulillah. Um, well, when you sit on the floor, you can feel the sitting on the floor. It was solid, hot, uh, hard, and it was cold as well. And you had to sit in tashahud <laughs> for not 20 seconds or one minute, for three hours in tashahud. Believe me, three hours in tashahud. And one amazing thing about them is that, you know, massages, when you go in a massage, you see a lot of chairs there for the elderly people because um, uh, elderly people need it because of arthritis or different, different illnesses. Over there, you saw the, all the imams and the muftis there. They were all dressed in like a shirwani, a black cloak, brown cloak, with the Egyptian style, the, the red topi. Looking all very, very smart, mashallah. And, um, but amazing, not one person sitting on a chair. I guess 
they're very different people like you know masajid we have hot water they don't have hot water they have cold water they used to cold water the diet is very different so it keeps them very very healthy indeed so i i was in all of them and i was envy of them that much and not even one person sitting sitting on a chair um so we sat in the show for three hours and believe me pins and needles and you name it everything was happening there and then the grand mufti walked in after a bit and then everybody stood up to read the grand mufti and then, then the, the old mufti takes, gets a new shirwani and places it, uh, it's, like, it's like a cloak, he puts it on the new mufti to be and puts a little flower um, on, on the chest and then what he does, he takes a book and he has, takes an oath to say that I, um, Hussein, the new mufti's name is Mufti Hussein, um, something which, because in, in, in Bosnia everything is like Ibrahimovic and this witch and that witch. So I can't remember which 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 it was which which is um, Mufti <laughs> sorry Mufti Hussein but um, he, he he takes the oath <laughs> and then he has to say I will do this I will do this and it was quite amazing three hours of I would say that, I'll probably exaggerate a little bit but two and a half hours and believe me it was the legs were the legs were hurting quite a bit but it was great to meet new new Mufti this new Mufti Mufti Hussein was actually caught during the war in the Serbian war he was tortured by the Serbs as well. Uh, he is a mujahid as well, alhamdulillah, and he's, uh, but alhamdulillah, he's well respected amongst the amongst the ulama Islam, amongst the muftis in Bosnia, and he's he's, he's quite a, he's quite a wonderful. He's around 53, 52 years, I've been told, but a wonderful, wonderful mufti. May Allah give him in his job. Uh, it was a pleasure to meet him. It was a pleasure to meet the Bosnian people. Two wonderful, wonderful days in Bosnia. Um, the only downside was that from Bosnia to go back to Albania, no internal flight. So what do you have to do? You have to drive. So we drove from Bosnia, stuck after Fajr Namaz around 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we had to go to via Montenegro. Montenegro, uh, I think the population is less than 1 million people in, in Montenegro. Um, state, beautiful country. Um, the Balkans is very beautiful, but the Montenegro is the, they say, is the most beautiful part of the Balkans. And I agree because the mountains, the streams, the lakes, it is, whoa, it is just amazing. And if I get a chance, inshallah, maybe on our, on our website, I'll upload the, the, the scenery of, of Montenegro, which we saw was absolutely out of this world. It reminded me of two things, and I mentioned this in my Jummah Khutbah yesterday. Subhanallah, that, Rabbana ma kharakta hatha baatila subhanaka faqira hatha bin nar. You see the amazing kudrat and the beauty of Allah that is made in this dunya. And if you wonder that, subhanallah, what is going to be like in the here and after? You think, you know, the, the beauties of Jannah. Is, is, if in dunya, you can't even understand the greatness how we can understand the beauty of Allah in, in, in Jannah. And the second thing you, um, you comes to mind that in Surah Al Qari, Allah mentions that when the trumpet is blown, the mountains will fly like cotton wool. SubhanAllah, all these mountains, you see so many mountains in the Balkans, and that day when the angel blows the trumpet, everything's going to fly like cotton wool. It makes you wonder. Allah, and it's a great name from Allah that as Muslims will not be around when the trumpet is blown. Because if we were around, it'd be so, so horrific. So, so horrific. You know, Allah Safeguard our iman and so that when you think about it, it makes you it makes you shiver that uh, this day is going to happen with Allah that is going to blow this whole world up, it's going to come to a bits and bits and bits. But it's a great blessing of Allah that we won't be around to, to see this day, um, inshallah. And then it, we drove through Montenegro and we got to um, we got to Albania after 12 hours of driving. And, the, and the great, it's not like the M1, you keep on driving straight, 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 straight. You go round and round and round and round, and then you also become round and round and round. So that's why you, see, you think I'm a bit round, it's because we went round and round and round. Um, not really, I think I'm looking okay really. But um, that's just a little joke. So we got to Albania after 12, 12 hours of driving. Albania is Albania. Stayed there, the academy, alhamdulillah, um, it's looking good. Do go on our website and show the latest photos, the, the new tinted windows on the top, the arch on the top, the, the new round windows, the, the frames been put up there as well. It's looking looking the part. It's looking the part. It's looking very, very beautiful. But um, I'm making the one out. Um, inshallah, it's, it gets done. The job gets done quickly. We're targeting March, um, end of March 2013, brothers and sisters. We're 375 stroke pounds, 1,000 pounds away. Please, please make dua. We can get this money raised over the next four or five months, inshallah. And the academy will be ready for the Easter of 2013, inshallah. So we make a lot of requests for you that you, um, we, we make a special request to you that you make dua for us. And whatever financial support you can give us, we'd be so, so grateful. Um, recently, we had a, we had a tour of Buna Muhammad as well. He came from Canada, who is a, 
um, he's, 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 he talks in poetry, mashallah, and he's, um, I, did sp I, I was unable to attend any of the tours, but I did speak to him over the phone. He sounds like a very down-to-earth person, a wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful person. And the tours, mashallah, where we did in Newcastle and Huddersfield and, and Bradford and Birmingham uh, were, were extremely, extremely well. Alhamdulillah, Allah give uh, Brother Buna Jazayah Khair and the people behind it, Brother Najib, Mawlana Najib Sahib and Sister Sara, who worked extremely, extremely hard. May Allah Ta'ala reward them. And all the people behind the scenes who work, may Allah Ta'ala reward them as well. It was very, very successful. We've got quite a few direct debits as well. We asked your brothers and sisters, if you can't give a huge amount of money, if you can maybe sign up a direct debit for £10 a month, £20 a month, £5 a month, or just five a hundred pounds over the next five months, hundred pounds over the next five months, that, that makes it twenty pounds um, a month. That would be that go a long way towards the academy, inshallah. Allah. So, brothers and sisters, this is just um, on the latest video. Uh, apart from the um, Bosnian travel, apart from the Buna Muhammad, apart from the academy, brothers and sisters, um, inshallah, before Christmas comes, I do want to give another uh, video regarding Sayyidina Isa al Nabi and Sayyidina Maryam and the significance, what is Christmas, should Muslims celebrate it, what should we do in this time. Um, if you've got Christian neighbors, how should we look after them, how should we care for them, what should we say, what should, what should we do, what shouldn't we do, inshallah, um, hopefully on the 15th, 16th of December, or maybe 18th, 19th of December, or towards, before Christmas, inshallah, I do intend to take a, a video out then, inshallah. In the meantime, brothers and sisters, do the orders in your pious, pious duas, myself, uh, the brothers in the office as well, Raham mercy in general. And also, not forgetting our brothers in Palestine and the citizens of Palestine at the moment, they're going through a terrible time. Uh, we get shown what we, you know, what, what, what the media wants to show us, and it's, half the time we didn't even know what really was going on. Our brothers and sisters in Syria as well are going through a very, very difficult time. May Allah to relieve the problems, may Allah give them afiyat, may Allah make it easy for them, and relieve them from all the difficulties and hardship, and replace it with joy and happiness. And lastly, brothers and friends, Whenever it's time for us to go from this dunya, may Allah Ta'ala give all of us, all of us, Husni Khatima, and we meet Allah Ta'ala in such a way that Allah is happy with us, and we're also happy with Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala gives us two feet of practice of what has been said, wa akhiru da'wana, and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah.